What's up everybody? Um, wanted to make a real quick video on this because uh, I had a few questions about it. Um, picked this up the other day, right? And here's the box. It says, uh, you know, AK ready, 48 gigabytes. Um, oh, and fiber optic. I uh, don't really care about the length. What caught my attention was this and this. And then when you open it up, <clears throat> I took the cable out because I'm using it right now. But it gives you all this info. The reason I'm showing you guys this too is because I can't find it online. And um, I just wanted to see if this is something that is like super brand new. Because I've actually got my hands on stuff that hasn't even been released to the public public yet. Like my Dre Beats and some of my Dre Beats. I found them in the store before they were even supposed to be uh, released. And so, <clears throat> anyways, the only thing is I can't find on here. I'm hearing that 48 gigabytes per second is supposed to be linked with HDMI 2.1. But I cannot find anywhere. Well, I can't find it on the website. And I can't find any info to tell me whether or not uh, this is actually uh, 2.1. So, I was going to see if you guys could help me out with that. And I already have a really good cable. Um, the cable that I have, I think, runs for like $200. It's a monster. It's their premium highest one. So, uh, that's why I was... And this was actually cheaper. So, I was, that's why I was like, well, if this is AK 48 gigabytes 2.1, why is it cheaper? And it's even shorter than the one that I paid $200 for. Wait, no, and it's longer than the one I paid $200 for. So, I mean, I can't really show you any kind of difference quality or anything. Um, but, yeah, it's not going to do me any good to do that. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to see if anybody out there has bumped into something similar to this. I know that the Belkin is 48 uh gigabytes or whatever and so that's why I was wondering and like this one here this cable that I have is the one where I don't know if you guys can see that it lights up when it's uh, you know HDSD 4k all of that stuff and I mean this is a really good cable but i'm thinking like now i found this one it's cheaper but yet it the specs on paper are better and i don't know if you know it's gonna run my xbox one x better than uh than the cable i got over there so if anybody can give me a hand with that that would be nice and uh again the specs on this one uh the only thing that's <laughs> Weird is it shows the Xbox 360 controller that's weird. I mean, why would they show? I don't know. Anyways, if it's... Let's see if there's a... Oh, maybe I'll look that up. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Um, leave a comment below. Try to help me out with this because, like I said, I, I have a good TV and I want to run the best cable possible, but, I mean... As you can see, I have over there, like I showed you earlier, top-notch cable as far as Monster goes. And now, supposedly, this one's better than that one, and I don't know which way to go with it. I personally can't tell a, a big difference, but that's because I put my brightness all the way up and my color all the way up. So, no matter what, it's always bright and vivid and stuff. So, Alright, guys. Thanks a lot for helping me out with that, and... Uh, Maybe uh, I can get some answers from you guys. Alright, later.